Arhitera is a tool that users can utilize to create 3D editable terrain objects in Archicad from different input files. After the installation, Arhitera appears in the Aptar Solutions menu. Here, we can find the Arhitera palette, language, about, and registration options. First of all, it's important to activate the license, which works with an online key, just like other Aptar solutions. It means that while using it, the computer needs an active internet connection the whole time. If the connection is broken, the license will switch off and Arhitera will not work. Arhitera does not have a demo version. Activating the license is necessary with the received registration data. To start working with Arhitera, we need tools. Clicking on the Show Arhitera Palette option, all tools of Arhitera will become available on the floating palette. This palette is divided into four groups of tools. First is an input, second is earth moving, third is street furnitures, and the last is parameters. Let's start with the first. In this group, there are some different input methods. I can import txt and dxf files, as well as shapefile formats. The next icon is to convert Arhiked mesh into the Arhitera terrain. Without this, the simple mesh would not be usable for Arhitera. Now I will create terrain for Arhitera. There are two ways to create terrain, manually and from input files. I will start with the manual method. I have this small drawing which is created with polylines or spline. Using these lines, I create the mesh element first. Select the mesh tool, click on the contour with the magic wand. Then select this mesh and click on the splines again with the magic wand. This creates ridges on the surface of the mesh. Let's check it in 3D. This mesh is still plain and only has some ridges. Back to the floor plan. I select one ridge, click on one point of it and select the Z value. Right now it is 2000 millimeters. And I apply this value for all points on this ridge. Click on OK. The result is immediately visible. It already looks like a terrain object. I select the other ridge, do the same thing, just with a different height value. Let's control it in 3D. Now I make this mesh usable for Arhitera. I select it and click on the Convert tool. A window appears with some information. I click on Convert. This mesh is now ready for Arhitera work. The second method to create mesh is using the input file. Let's start with the TXT format. Click on the TXT icon and select the file with the data. Click on Open. In the next window, some parameters are possible to set. Units, coordinate format, decimal separator, etc. One more window appears with information. Click on OK. A lot of points are imported. To make terrain objects from these points, I use the special outline tool. With this tool, I draw the contour of this terrain. This tool finds the points inside of this area. A field area is created and I select it. Clicking on the terrain tool, I convert it to the mesh object. Now, if I check it in 3D, I see there is a simple mesh object. The second import format is DXF. Click on the icon, select the DXF file and open it. A similar window appears as in the case of TXT. We can select layers and now the data is imported. 
I see a lot of points again, and now with the contour tool, I create a filled in area. I can create it manually, but now I will use a rectangular tool. The add on created a contour automatically. I select it and create the mesh object. In 3D, it is visible as an already more complex terrain object, which is a mesh. When the Ariterra terrain is created, I can start to design other objects on this terrain, like a road. This is a sample file, which looks nice in 3D. I will now place a road. To create the road, I have to draw the polyline and I will place the road on this. I select the polyline and click on the road tool. The settings window appears where I can set some important parameters. Click on OK. The road is created. I select the other polyline, click on the road tool and place the other road. I check it in 3D. Two roads are created and placed on the surface of the terrain. Next is a railway. As we did in the case of the roads, we draw a polyline that defines the track of the railway. I select this polyline and then click on the railway tool. The settings window is similar to the previous one. Click on OK and the railway will be placed. Here it is. Go to the 3D view to see the result. It looks pretty good, like a real railway. When the road or railway is placed, a slope is created at the same time, which is visible on the floor plan and with different colors in 3D. Next, I will create a plateau. The method is very similar to the road, but here I don't draw a polyline, but a fill which defines the area of the plateau. I place the fill, select it and click on the Plateau tool. The settings window is similar to the previous ones. Click on OK and the plateau is done. Go to the 3D view and the plateau is visible on the model. I can place schematic houses. The contour of houses is defined with the polygon. I select it and click on the house tool. The settings window contains some parameters and clicking on OK places the house. In the third group of tools, there are some interesting things like trees. Here I can set the complexity of trees with many many parameters. Clicking on the surface of the terrain, I place some of them. In 3D we see two interesting things. First, the add-on places trees always on the surface, detecting the height of points where I click. The second is that all placed trees are different shapes, and the result is a more lifelike picture. Finally, I'd like to show you some pictures. This terrain and its objects were created with Arhitera and rendered with Twinmotion. Thank you for your attention.